what you're looking at is a bunch of wicking barrels connected or interconnected with an automatic watering system which is that 55 gallon drum on the right that feeds the water through the whole system as it needs it. Six of the planters are done the traditional wicking barrel way. You just take a 55 gallon drum and cut it in half and you get two planters per barrel. The other eight planters are done in a global bucket style where you cut the top third of the barrel off just above the top rib. You can see the black line in this picture. And then you do some modifications to the top third and you use it for the insert to create your water containment area in the lower two-thirds of the barrel. The advantages of doing them this way are you get a much larger water reservoir and they're easier to level the system out when you're done because you don't have to be as precise as you do when you're doing it the traditional wicking barrel way. The disadvantages, there's only one. You only get one planter per barrel. I'm going to show you how to make them both ways including the mistakes we made so you won't have to deal with the problems we had. And I'll put links in the description box below for all the pieces you have to buy. And it'll probably end up, it'll definitely end up being three videos, maybe four. Let's start with the traditional style wicking barrel first. So the first thing we did is we took our barrels and cut them in half. And then we measured the cut edge and it was 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. So I went out and looked on the internet and I found these grommets with a 3 sixteenths of an inch wide slot in them. The link is in the box description box below. The packaging said they should go into a hole that's 7 eighths of an inch in diameter. We drilled a hole along the top edge of one of the barrels where it wouldn't matter and tried the grommet with the pipe we want to use, which is half inch C PVC. And we decided it was a little too loose and we drilled another hole 3 quarters of an inch in diameter and tried that and it was much tighter. And we like that a lot better, so we went with the three-quarter inch hole. To create the water reservoir, we cut some four-inch perforated drain pipe to the right length for each particular barrel. You're going to have to figure this out for each barrel because they're not all necessarily the same length. The easiest way to put the pipe in the barrel is to put the two cut ends in first, then push down on the opposite side. After we did this, we let the pipe sit in the sun for a few days to take on the shape of the barrel. You need to put two holes in each barrel opposite each other. And the easiest way to do this is to find the seam in the sides of the barrel and measure up each seam and put your mark. So we did some guessing and some measuring and we came up with two and a half inches from the bottom. We drilled the barrel, put the grommet in, slid the pipe through and it worked great. We ended up marking all the barrels two and a half inches and then started drilling all the holes. And that's where we made our mistake. By chance, the first barrel we worked on was the lower half of the barrel and it was 3 sixteenths of an inch just like where the cut was. But as you can see in this photo the top halves are about 5 sixteenths of an inch thick when you measure up two and a half inches from the bottom. So the grommets won't work. There was one top we hadn't drilled when we noticed and we did some remeasuring and guessing on that one and we ended up measuring up three and a half inches on it and the grommets worked fine so Pay attention to how thick the wall of the barrel is on your top halves of the barrels because it's definitely different than the lower part. I'll show you how to put the rest of the thing together with the grommets, assuming you everything's been drilled right and everything's the right thickness. And then after I do that, I'll show you how we uh, fixed the error we made. The next thing to do is put something heavy on top of the black pipe while it's still in the barrel to hold it down and then take a half inch drill bit and drill through the hole in the side of your barrel uh, at a, the, kind of the same angle as the side of the barrel if there's an angle through it through that hole into the black pipe and do it before you put the grommets in not like we did here in these pictures the next thing to do is to close the ends of your drain pipe what we came up with is some round flat disc what we did is we cut them out of this flat sided plastic bucket we got for free from Walmart. Just cut out some circles and trimmed them till they fit inside. And to stick them inside the pipe you take a scissors and slit a couple of the ribs a little bit and then just push your disc in until they snap in nice and firm. You could also do this with a with a milk jug, no plastic milk carton, no problem. Next cut your CPVC pipe into six inch lengths and you're gonna need 
two pieces of pipe per barrel and glue these half inch male threaded ends on one end of each pipe. Before we glue the ends on the pipes, we chamfer it over both ends on a grindstone. One end so it'll just to glue it together easier and the other end so it'll slide through the grommets easier when we put the whole thing together later on. After we glued the ends on the pipe, we put them in a vise and wrapped some Teflon tape around the threads. Then we screwed these thread adapters on to change it from a half inch national pipe thread to a standard male hose thread. The reason we used the vise was so we could crank them down really tight with a pair of channel locks. This is what they'll look like when they're finished. After that, we put together the hoses to connect the barrels together. And we cut some freshwater drinking hose into 18 inch lengths and put female ends on both ends of the hose. And here's another thing you got to watch out for. The uh, inside diameter of the hose. You can get it in 5 8 or half inch. I bought half inch and cut it all up and went to get some ends and realized around here all the stores only carry the ends that go in 5 8 inch hose. So back to the World Wide Web we went and I found these ends that go inside a half inch hose. The threads on the connectors are still standard hose thread. It's just the part that slides inside the hose is a different diameter. Now get the black pipe and find the half inch holes that you drilled in earlier and that you snipped a little bit with the scissors and take a piece of the white pipe and push it through the hole and wiggle it around so it expands the hole to the right size. It'll make assembling the whole thing later on easier. Then we took a roll of drain sleeve and slid it over the black pipe and make sure when you cut it you leave it long enough to put a good knot in each end and then take a pair of scissors and just snip a little hole over each of those holes you just expanded in the black pipe before you put the grommets in you need to clean the holes up you can do that with a sharp knife or razor knife or like we did we I happen to have a cone shaped grinding stone so we use that just be careful if you do it this way it uh, wouldn't take much to make the hole too big Put all the grommets in the holes in the barrels. Then take the black pipe that's inside the drain sleeve and put it inside the barrel and line it up so that the holes that you drilled inside that pipe earlier are lined up near the holes in the grommets. Then take your white pipes and put a little bit of vegetable oil on the ends of them and a little bit of vegetable oil in the inside hole of the grommet and push that white pipe through the grommet and then into that hole that you drilled in the black pipe and push them as far as they'll go. Now to put together the ones that the grommets won't work for because the walls are too thick because I drilled the holes too low, you need some half inch CPVC female connectors and some half inch CPVC male connectors and some pieces of pipe about two inches long and you put together the one the two inch long pieces of pipe with a male and a female end on each end like this and then you need to cut some pieces of CPVC pipe three and a half inches long chamfer over both ends and put a male connector on one end now take the piece of pipe with just the male end on it and thread it into the hole from the inside of the barrel out and then when it sticks out enough put a black washer on it like this link below for it and then take the other piece you made with the male and female end and thread it on from the outside but don't screw it down too tight from the outside because the washer will distort what you want to do is just get it up against it and then tighten it together by turning the inside piece and the, the piece that's inside the barrel tighten it down that way the washer won't distort it'll stay nice and flat and it shouldn't leak you don't necessarily have to make the piece with the male and female connector. You could just thread the hose adapter directly onto the piece that's sticking through the barrel from the inside, like this. Now that you have these pipes installed in the barrel, cap the ends of them and fill it with water. Make sure it's not leaking. I had a couple of them I had to tighten, but I actually had a couple that needed to be loosened. Now take your large pipe and line the holes up that you drilled earlier over the two small pieces of pipe that are sticking up inside your barrel and push firmly down onto those pipes so that the pipes go way up inside the large pipe. For the water reservoir we took a 55 gallon drum and power washed the inside of it and then drilled a 3 quarter inch hole about 5 inches up from the bottom 
and stuck one of the grommets we used in the uh, planters into it. When we were cutting the hose up, we saved the male end with about six inches of hose. Probably should have did more like ten, but six worked fine. Just take that hose and take the cut end and put a little vegetable oil on it and a little in the grommet. Pinch the end over and push it through about an inch or two into the barrel. The barrel part's done. Now we just got to do the float valve. For the float valve, you need a bucket with a lid. On one side, drill a 7 8 inch hole about 2 inches up from the bottom. And on the other side, drill a 3 quarter inch hole about 4 and a half inches up from the bottom. You need to put a grommet in the 7 8 inch hole. And it's a different grommet than the ones you've been using before. It's for a thin wall plastic. Here's what it looks like. And there's a link down below to get it. Thread the float valve into the 3 quarter inch hole. And then take a piece of hose 12 to 18 inches long with a female end on one end and just the cut hose on the other. And take the cut hose end and push it through the grommet and push it into the bucket about an inch. Screw this adapter onto your float valve and then attach it to the hose that's coming out of your water barrel. Next thing to do is test the float valve bucket for leaks. Fill your water barrel up with water and pick up that hose end that's coming out of your uh, float valve bucket and elevate it somehow. Wedge it under the handle of the bucket, lean a brick against it, but just so it's up in the air and the water won't flow out of it. Once any leaks are stopped, if you're on level ground, you can connect the float valve bucket to the first planter and then connect the rest of the planters together using the hoses you made earlier. And then on the fitting on the last barrel, you can put a hose valve shut off or a end cap. If you're not setting this up on level ground, wait to watch the second video before you continue any further because it's very important that the containers be level for the watering system to work properly. To speed things up, take a hose and fill each planter with water until it's even with the top of the drain pipe. Now go away for a couple hours. We want the finished water level to be about a half an inch above our drain pipe. When you come back, everything will have leveled out and it's not going to be a half inch above the drain pipe like we want. So instead of trying to adjust the float valve to get it where you want it, the easier thing to do is just pick up the float valve bucket and stick a board or, or a brick or something under it. Start by raising it an inch or two at a time. We ended up picking our valve bucket up the thickness of a paver. Once you have the water level where you want it, you can snap the lid on your float valve bucket. Now you're going to need some drainage for when it rains. So in one or two of your barrels, drill a half inch hole about three quarters of an inch above the water line. Now you can fill the barrels with the growing medium of your choice and start using them. We're using composted horse manure. You might want to wait until you watch the third video in this series before you fill the barrels with the drain holes that you drilled because it came up with something that'll work a little better than just drilling a hole through the side of the barrel. But that won't be until the third video. The next video will be on how to set this system up if the location where you want to put it isn't level. From the float valve bucket on our system to the barrel at the end of the row there was about a six inch drop and it's not that hard to level it out. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Well I hope this works out for you. If you liked it give it a thumbs up. Please comment, rate, or subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.